high crochets of the world in this tutorial we will work together on um, this cable pattern knitting so I can say already crochets and knitters of the world because actually I have uh, some uh, knitting videos too there are knitting videos for crochets so even if you are not a knitter um, I have a playlist with the ABC uh, the basics of the knitting so if you just want to learn how to knit you can do it here on uh, uh, Wana's channel so on my channel uh, Wana is <laughs> Wana is me and um, it's really really mm, lovely to knit too sometimes I, I really want to knit I really need to knit you know so of course crochet is my love but as I said before from time to time we can just knit a blouse or a scarf or something else and this is a uh, cable pattern that I found and I found it just beautiful lovely and marvelous look at it now it can be used in so many um, projects as blankets as um, hats as uh, neck warmers as scarves can be a work scarf for men too or uh, borders or I don't know so so many beautiful things blouses obvious cardigans and so on uh, what I want to say is that this is a so actually only the cable pattern is a multi multiple of 18 but we have a border on one side and on the other side the border is on four stitches so we have actually here multiple of 18 plus 4 it's 22 multiple of 22 so if you want to work a, a um, blanket or a blouse or even a scarf or uh, you can put multiples of 22 and you will have this uh, or of course you can work this border larger if you want to to repeat the cable um, I don't know at um, so to be larger actually you can work the border with five with six any uh, number of stitches that you want to put here but the number that you put here will be plus 18 will be the multiple and at the end you will add the number that you put on for the border okay so I put 4 plus uh, 18 is 22 so you can go on with 22 22 22 at the end you will put four more okay for the final border that's all you will need this and they come uh, usually in three four sizes try always uh, the size smaller than the size of the hooks of the sorry of the needles that you are work with or at least the same size okay because it's easier to work I'm working with my mirage color you can find it in our shop really beautiful uh, colors as you can see it's so so lovely and I just work a headband for myself because I just love this and as you can see I went on <laughs> a little bit and it's just lovely and uh, this is a uh, wool to be worked with 4 millimeters so DK it's wool to be medium worse to be worked with 4 millimeters and I'm working 4.5 I work really tight I knit really tight okay so I all always um, try half measure more than the um, the measure that is uh, required by the label the yarn label so now let's see how to work this lovely 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 cable uh, there are 12 rows repeat for the sequence don't worry because actually there are six only six why uh, are 12 with the back side too but on the back side we just work the stitches as they are so actually the most important thing of the pattern are these six rows and you'll see uh, it's really easy let's get started okay so yes. you will begin with the let's suppose that this is the very first row okay so you just cast it on your number of stitches as I said I have 22 plus 4 so there are 26 stitches if you want to actually work with my pattern so we have 4 and 4 for the border and these 4 will be worked on the right side um, purl and on the wrong side knit so exactly on the contrary 
as we work the stitches for the main uh, projects of wood for the cable. So we knit on the uh, right side and we purl on the wrong side. Okay, let's get started. So we begin like this. We begin, oh, sorry. Okay, 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 okay. Here we are. So we will just purl this. I will pass as if to purl the first. Two, three, and four. And just purl this four. And now for the um, pattern, this is the first row to repeat, we will knit nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And now we will crisscross six. When you want to crisscross to the right, you will just take your, uh, um, this, I don't know the name of it, this little needle, and you will put it um, here. So you have the yarn in front. So with the yarn in front, take three stitches and let them on the wrong side. So we let them on the wrong side. And now we just want to knit three. One, two, and three. And we will take again with the yarn in front, we will just take the stitches again and we just want to knit them. And we just crisscross six stitches. And to finish, we will knit the last three. One, two, and three. And this is the first row to repeat. Finish with the four pearl border stitches. Okay. On the wrong side, as I said, I don't want to count the wrong side uh, rows because they are just uh, we are just working the stitches as they are. So we work knit four, knit four uh, at the beginning and at the end and purl 18. I will slip as if to knit and then knit three more then purl 18 and knit four more. And then we will continue on with the second row of the six to repeat. So as I said, I already, I, I only consider six rows to repeat because these are rows that we just know how to work them. The pattern stitch, the cable stitch, the cable pattern stitch is on the right side, is in these six rows. Okay, this is. Go on, I have three more. Here we are. And the four that I want to knit. Okay, that's it. Now, let's get started with the second. I just want a little bit of yarn here to have it. Let's get started with the second row to repeat. For the second row to repeat, we will work like this. So, purl, pass as if to purl and purl three more for the border, as we just know. Knit six, now we are on the cable pattern. Knit six, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we will crisscross three plus three and three plus three. So, again, exactly the same position. We have the yarn in front. We take three out of the knitting needle and we put them on the back side. And we just knit the other three. One, two, and three. Now we will take again our three, like this, put them on the knitting needle again, and knit them. One, two, and three. 
and we will do exactly the same thing again. So yarn in front, one, two, three, put them on the back side. Now knit the last three. One, two, and three. Okay. And now I will just take the three that I have here, put again on my knitting needle, and guess what? I will knit them. One, two, and three. I will finish with my border, four stitches border, so I will pull four. This is the second row of the sequence to repeat. Now, let's go on with the wrong side. We slip as if to knit. We knit three more. We purl, always purl 18 because there are this is the cable multiple. So we just purl all stitches here. Okay, and now we need the last four. It's the border, the final border. Let's go ahead and work our third row to repeat. The third row, guess what? The third row to repeat. It's exactly the same as the first row. So actually we will work exactly the same thing for the cable pattern. Now, knit, uh, sorry, purl as if to, uh, pass as if to purl and purl three more for the border. Now, do you remember it? We need 9, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we need 9. We take with the yarn in front, we take 3 like this on the back side because we are we want to pan to the right on the back side and now we just go ahead and work one, two and three. So we knit three. We take back on the knitting needle, left knitting needle, our three stitches with the yarn in front always and we knit them one, two and three. And we knit the last three. One, two, and three. And of course, we purl four for the border. These are the first, these were the first, first three rows to repeat. So as you can see, the first and the third are exactly the same. So actually we have only two rows to repeat, we can say. And this first part because this was the first part why because here we just work as you can see we have two parts the right side part of the cable and the left side part of the cable the left side part of the cable goes to the to the right the right side part of the cable goes to the left and if we wanted to um, uh, make it pending to the right we work with the yarn in front and the stitches on the back side. And if you want it to make it pending on the right, on the left, sorry, you will see into the next three um, rows repeating of the repeating pattern. So pass as if you need, need three more, we are on the wrong side. And now, of course, we just go ahead and Purl our 18 stitches of the cable pattern. So as you can see, um, after we just knit our first three, first part, let's say, of the cable pattern, what do you think of? It's not that difficult. So you can just 
uh, work so beautiful presents for this um, Christmas to be or I don't know um, as a nice gift for your uh, family we can just try okay this is the wrong side and now we will go ahead and work our three more uh, rows repeat and these three rows are for the right side part of the cable so the first is like this we begin of course with our border so purl pass as if to purl and purl three more to begin now knit three attention knit three crisscross three but uh, with them in front so the yarn remains in in the back on the back side we take three like this and we just put them in front okay yarn in back yarn back and um, and now we just want to knit one two and three okay and we just want to put these three again on the knitting needle and to knit them one two and three okay that's all now we need nine more one two three four five uh, sorry five six seven eight and nine okay this is the very first that will be the third two so it's exactly the same that we will work into our the uh, third and we just want to uh, pearl the last four okay so this was the very first repeating uh, row of the repeating sequence of three of the uh, right side part that we want to uh, make it pending to the left side as you can see is pending to the left side let's go ahead and work oops <laughs> and work sorry and work our uh, wrong side so we will pass as if to knit knit three two and three purl 18 obvious our 18 stitches of the um, pattern cable pattern okay and then we will dive directly into the second row of this second part let's say of the uh, pattern to repeat so we have three plus three so six rows to repeat and we knit the last four on the wrong side we knit them okay so as i said let's see how to work the second for the second we will work like this Pass as if to purl the first and purl three more. Two and three. Now we will just begin by crisscrossing three with th three. So yarn in the back, yarn on the back, and these three on the front. So the, like this. Yes. now I am preparing to work three more one two and three and now I will put these three on the knitting needle again and I will just knit them two one two and three guess what we have to repeat exactly the same thing yarn on the back and the stitches on the right side now there are three knit the other three two and three now take them again and put them on the knitting needle it's easier with the yarn 
on the back and the stitches in front believe me one two and three and now need six more stitches that's all we work it kind of on the contrary that we work on this side okay and of course we will finish with our pearl part of four stitches okay go ahead and work your wrong side so pass as if to knit knit three pearl 18 and knit four more to finish and then for the third row of the pattern stitch to repeat we will just repeat the first do you remember it? how it was? <laughs> you will after 3-4 repeating you will just memorize the, the pattern believe me I did it okay the first was like this we always begin with our border so we pass as if to purl and then we purl three more and then we knit three we crisscross six so the yarn on the back the stitches on the front and we just want to knit one two and three now we want to pass them back on the knitting needle and to knit them again and to knit them sorry not again Okay, and now guess what? We will need nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We finish as we began with our four pearl stitches. The border stitches. Okay. So, that's it. Believe me or not, that's it. <laughs> that's all. That's actually all. So, as I said before, it's not that difficult that appears to be. So, you know, sometimes the things are uh, much more easier that uh, they look, they are, they, they seem to be. So, this is one of these from my point of view. And it's so so marvelous just give it give it a try and you'll see it's you will be in love with it now uh, as I said I just want to create a um, a um, with this cable and a very very lovely uh, hat and neck warmer maybe for babies I don't know or for me <laughs> I really don't know but I think I will it would be just great to incorporate it in a blouse knitting blouse pattern wouldn't it okay so hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hope I succeed succeeded in um, teaching you something new and something that you want to learn and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss a video of mine and don't forget to take a look on our yarn shop we have so many beautiful yarns and if you don't know what yarn to choose for your project even if it's not a project for a project from my videos from my design you can just send me a photo with the project that you want to work and i will just um give you the idea for the perfect or I will choose for you the perfect yarn to use for it so as I always say the um, choosing the perfect yarn for your project it's very important it's a very important part see you at the next tutorial bye bye